the whole aim of the, of the uh, movement toward net shaped forming in recent years has been to either uh, uh, very much reduce or ideally to completely eliminate uh, subsequent uh, uh, finishing processes after the initial one, in this case a casting operation. And that is an important advantage of liquid metals. Most of the metal alloys and most of the processes that we that we have, have have taken a hundred years to get where they are. Uh, uh, li liquid metals is a very young uh, material, uh, but it's been moving extraordinarily uh, rapidly in its in the short life that it's had. And I would anticipate that uh, that that pace uh, uh, to continue, uh, if not accelerate. And and so I I would expect that uh, within certainly my lifetime. Uh, 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 we, we, to put it another way, within within 10 years or, or, or less, I would expect this to have a significant uh, uh, portion of the uh, 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 of, of the net shape market. Steels can have very very impressive properties in terms of strength, for example. Um, and plastics, as we all know, can be molded easily into, into particular shapes. Uh, but there's no high-performance material com having properties, anything like steel, that can be processed and formed like plastics. So those, those are the, those are the, that's what's unique about, about these alloys. Uh, the fact that you can cast them, you can form them in shapes, uh, and still they have the kinds of properties that, that very high-performance materials would have. Indeed, indeed, they have properties that no other materials have, but it's the combination of properties and, and processing and, and uh, formability that makes them special. It's properties of tool steels, but with the processability of plastics. You can't cast anything uh, uh, that, that has anything. You can't cast, for example, tool steels. It can't be cast to shape. Uh, they can't be die cast like that. Uh, uh, whereas these materials are, have, have uh, well, in fact, they have higher strengths and tool steels, uh, and they have cer certain kinds of durabilities that exceed those of tool steels, and yet they can be simply cast to shape and formed like plastics. So that's that's what that's that's unusual. Liquid metal again can be processed uh, much the same way that you injection mold plastic, and that's inherently a low pressure process. It's a relatively inexpensive process and it produces very high quality parts that have that come out of the uh, mold with very near their final shape so you can make precision components in a simple process that's relatively low cost and what this means is that uh, you can reduce the cost of making uh, high quality complex parts from metal so the combination of uh, of uh, plastic processing and low cost mean that we can do things with metal that ordinarily aren't possible. Where we uh, ordinary casting is very different, and ordinary metals require typically a lot of machining. And therein is the lion's share of the cost of uh, of manufacturing uh, net shaped parts out of metal. It combines uniquely a material with exceptional properties and an ability to process the material to exceptional shapes. Now, that's something that comes along only very rarely in material development. The last time it did was perhaps thermoplastics, which allowed the production of complex shapes by simple processing, injection molding, press molding, uh, one or two other molding processes of that sort. But such techniques as that have never been available for processing metals. Now, suddenly we have them. We can do the same thing with liquid metals that we can do with thermoplastics. The, the fact that you can cast these things to shape uh, and have the right, have the, essentially the final finish with very little finishing operations uh, in the final part of the processing. That's, that's, that's the big thing, I think, that's being brought to manufacturers of products. Like plastics. The, the higher viscosity of, of forming uh, lets you get parts, as you do with plastics, uh, economically to precise dimensions, uh, 
uh, and without voids and defects. We believe that a combination of alloy development and uh, processing technology will open the spectrum of materials that we can process this way to a much broader array in the future. And that, that will only open up new areas of potential application. I would guess that everything from hearing aids to handheld computers are going to be made of this stuff quite soon.